Now we're going to find the union and intersection of intervals. And this is like finding the union and intersection of sets, but there's more numbers involved. So we're going to start with an example. Suppose we have minus 3 to 2 union minus 2 to 7 with a parenthesis. Remember that a union means or. So anything that's in this interval or this interval will work. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare the smallest to the smallest and the biggest to the biggest. And notice that negative 3 to negative 2, we want the bigger one because it's anything that works in either. So we're going to take the negative 3 and that's going to be our low point. When we look at the 2 and the 7, since 7 is bigger than 2, 7 is going to be our high point. But you may be saying, but wait a second, the minus 2 wasn't included in this one. But remember the or, minus 2 is bigger than minus 3, so it is included. So this here does, in fact, accurately represent everything that we need. So this is our answer for the union. We take the smaller of the small values and the larger of the large values, so long as there's things in common. Or not things in common, so long as it includes everything that's in either. Well, on the flip side, we could take minus 2 to 5, and we could intersect that with minus 7 to 3. Now here, because it's an inter intersection, this means it has to be what's in one and in the other. So when we look at our minus 2 and our minus 7, we see, oh, the minus 2 is bigger so we're going to take the minus 2, and we'll just take the same symbol, because it is included in this one, and it's included in this one. And then we'll look at our 5 and our, minus, and our 3, and we take the smaller of these, with its accompanying symbol. And so notice we got a smaller region when we intersected minus 2 to 5, intersects minus 7 to 3.